Well, students from Wellsboro created a way to connect communities while solving a transportation problem. And their ideas landed them a spot as statewide finalists for a PennDOT student competition. Our WENY Pennsylvania Capital correspondent, Kara Jeffers, live in Harrisburg tonight, where three Wellsboro High School students were today. Kara. Good evening, Nick and Renata. This trio of students you're about to meet have been working on this project since January. What started as a homework assignment ended today with a presentation to dozens of Pendite workers, including Tr Secretary Mike Carroll. Three high school students from the Wellsboro Area School District took a trek to Harrisburg today. And our specific idea was a highway cap over a four lane highway to compete in the PennDOT Innovation Challenge State Finals. Instead of just having, you know, just assignments for me, I like to kind of look and see what the kids can compete in. Anything that's a problem to solve, which is essentially what engineering is um, in simple terms. Tasked with creating a solution to a real life transportation problem, Carter, Natalie, and Ian won first a classroom competition, then regionals to get here. Do you think you have this question? Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, seeing the other groups made me like really nervous, so I'm not sure, but I hope that mm -hmm. we win. I, I think they liked it. I mean, we, we provide a lot of information on our funding and how it's going to be like realistic. The trio also leaned into visual supports. We used Minecraft as a like AI demonstration of what our idea and how it's going to be built, so they all liked that. With the project finished, the students pointed out lessons they'll take with them. And from day to day life, you can apply engineering to a lot of things, so it's just a good skill to have. I plan on being a teacher, so I think that this will really like help me like get out those kind of ideas to students. And fond memories they've made along the way. They asked all of us our names, and he, the girl was like, which one's Carter and which one's Ian? And this is Carter, and he said, my name is Ian, or he yeah. said, I am Ian. Got a little messed up there. <laughs> The winners of the challenge will actually be declared next week, and that first place prize is $4,000 that team members get to split, and of course, bragging rights. In Harrisburg, I'm Kara Jeffers for WENY News.